Convicted fraudster Michael Swan is due to be released from prison at the end of the month. The release of the 51-year-old means he'll have spent four years and eight months in jail for defrauding the Otago District Health Board of $16.9 million. ODT Police reporter Hamish McNeely has followed the case and recently attended parole hearings. He joins us tonight. Good evening, Hamish. Hi, how are you? What sort of reaction are you hearing to the news of his release? Well, people are surprised and they're clearly not happy about it because I, he defrauded 16.9 million or was involved in that and only served uh, four years and a few months. So people are not happy at all. And the parole hearings, what did you see and what were your thoughts on Swan and his demeanour at those? Uh, it was an in interesting experience going into, into that prison uh, in Christchurch, uh, seeing him again, uh, obviously put on a bit of weight, looked, looked directly at the parole board, never acknowledged the, the media or anybody else there, had a support person there, was very apologetic, uh, attentive, um, played it well obviously. And he looked remorseful? A good question. Um, he said he was sorry. Uh, he indicated he was sorry, so we'll leave it at that. Mm. Are there any uh, investigations or possible actions still to come in this case? Uh, no one's saying the case is closed. Um, there's a six million dollar pecuniary order against him, which means that they uh, they want to recoup uh, outstanding funds. So that's always going to hang over him. Um, it's still an ongoing investigation, and I'm sure the authorities are interested in tracking down. Um, some of those assets uh, which they've never been able to find mm. uh, and also the health board is there's some ongoing costs involved with, mm. with, with this case for them. Yes and tell us about your story today on the health board and their late submission. That's right, um, when a prisoner is up for parole normally the victim is notified that you can uh, go to the parole board hearing. If you're not notified you tend to know when they're, when they're coming up. Uh, myself I knew when he was up for parole, so I went to the uh, applied to go to the parole board hearing. Uh, no one from the district health board turned up. Their submission arrived late. Not really a good look. It was, it's an excellent submission. It just arrived late. So whether it was given any weight or not in the hearing, we don't know. ODT police reporter Hamish McNeely, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. Cheers.